There's just one convict left. Whoever finds him wins. Yeah, I guess you could say he's the golden snitch. Wait, was that a Harry Potter reference? It most definitely was. I started reading them because you love them so much. And? You were right, they're incredible. Remember when I called in sick the other day? I was at home reading Order of the Phoenix. Oh, this makes me so happy. If he spent his whole life constructing this nice guy persona, isn't that as much who he really is as anything else? You would argue that. You're all persona. I agree with Wilson. This guy's Harry Potter. The sorting hat was going to put Harry in Slytherin based on his nature. He refused, so he ended up in Gryffindor through choice. There's damage somewhere in his brain. Go find it. All right, you can open your eyes. <laughs> I thought I'd let Harry Potter make things hotter. Wowza. I got a Gryffindor robe for you. A Gryffindor sleeping with a Hufflepuff? How scandalous. You naughty girl. I'm sorry, did you also win free muffins for life? I didn't think so. Now let me read the final Harry Potter novel in peace. Everyone's already read that. Yes, but if anyone divulges any details to me, what happens, Murphy? You draw Harry Potter glasses on their face in permanent marker. That's right. Now, I don't give a hoot about the janitor and his gal pal, okay, so shove off. You wouldn't dare draw on me. And I already know whether Harry lives or dies at the end. Hi, how's your open house? Pretty empty, actually. I kind of just took it out on a Harry Potter. Seriously, though, a Gryffindor letting his mom carry his Quidditch broom? How Hufflepuff is that? Uh, who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Uh, Hermione. Hermione? Well, uh, all right, did Hermione run when Sirius Black was in trouble? Or when Voldemort attacked Hogwarts? Seriously? No, of course not. What did she do? She kicked ass. She actually saves Harry in practically every book. And then she ends up with the wrong... Uh, stay on track. <laughs> I can't believe we're at Hogwarts! No, that's Buckingham Palace. Hogwarts is fictional. Do you know that? It's important to me that you know that. Har har, very funny. Dude, looks like someone's team ruled Harry Potter. <laughs> so, Buffy, what are your plans today? Oh, actually, Giles and I are going to go to the magic shop for supplies for my new and improved training sessions. Well, that's great. Oh, yeah, I'm actually You really... can take Dawn shopping for her back-to-school supplies. <sighs> what? Mama, I, I thought you were taking me. Well, honey, I've got the Gurian showing tonight. And there's so much to do to get the gallery ready. No, but see, Mom, that doesn't really work for me. We're just going to the magic shop. No school supplies there. Yeah, Mom, I'm not going to Hogwarts. <laughs> Jeez, crack a book sometime. We were being detained. And you just forgot to mention this hidden compartment. That is a phoenix feather, sir, not a weapon. If you're familiar with the most popular franchise in the history of film, maybe you wouldn't experience such confusion here. Uh, my apologies. This my normally sane buddy is a little on edge because of the very tight window that exists between our arrival at Heathrow and the Rupert Grint meet and greet at Leicester Square. I am a Grint grunt, loud and proud. Oh, honey, sweetie baby. It's the ring, Robin. The ring has power. When a woman puts on an engagement ring, it's like when Bilbo Baggins wears the one ring in The Hobbit. Can you say that again, but not nerd? Sure. Uh, the ring is like the cloak that Harry Potter wears to sneak around Hogwarts. Yeah, I don't speak virgin either. What's under here? Like a big silver ghost. <laughs> That's creepy. A cloak of invisibility. Yes! You're a wizard, Harry. 